Okay, so about four years ago in 2020, Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch, which at the time was his main platform. Now, this was a surprise to Dr. Disrespect himself and his community, and Dr. Disrespect decided to take Twitch to court. He sued Twitch, and Twitch countersued him. Now, obviously, Twitch is gonna have more money and more power, but obviously, Dr. Disrespect has the community and the internet kind of on his side, as from the public eye, it looked like Dr. Disrespect just got banned for seemingly nothing, and Twitch didn't even give Dr. Disrespect a rundown of, hey, this is what you did wrong or sent him those you know generic letters it's like here's why your account was suspended you can submit your appeal blah 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 blah. he never got any of that however with two immovable objects going into a court case the eventual nature of settling or in court that means both parties either for an undisclosed amount of money or an undisclosed deal they decide to drop both cases and settle the case outside of the courtroom now like stated this was four years ago in 2020 and there was a gaming influencer named slasher who did tweet this out way back in 2020 saying, look, for several hours now, I've been told from credible sources the reason Dr. Disrespect has been banned. However, due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject, I refrain from going on it. I don't feel comfortable with it currently. This started a lot of questions back in the day, which up until now, which we'll talk about, were largely unanswered and Slasher never really went in on it. But just before we talk about the dots that connected here, if you could just real quickly go down there and tickle the subscribe button, it would really help me out. I'm really trying to hit 5k before the end of the year. Thank you very much. So anyways, now, obviously four years later, in 2024, a former Twitch staff, which obviously was probably not directly involved, but could have been, you know, aware more so than the public of what was happening in the innards of Twitch, tweeted out this. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed, gang. So essentially, this is a very, very big allegation. This is saying that Dr. Disrespect, who at that time would have been like 37 or 38 years old, was sexting or just texting a minor for a meetup and what he means by saying the twitch whispers is basically just like a way to dm a specific person on twitch instead of like communicating through a chat or whatever it's literally just a way to message someone individually on twitch obviously we don't really have to go into how insane and huge these accusations are but right now there is no solid proof out in the air that he did this i'm just gonna be honest and you can like whoever you want but i have never been a fan of the dr disrespect like character or persona or any of that he's just not my cup of tea but i would never just out outright believe something like this especially when if this is the reason that he was banned and yes it was settled and even in dr disrespect's tweet which we'll talk about in a second you have to kind of stay in the guidelines of what you're allowed to say in like the public eye when you're settling something but even then there's no way twitch would know that dr disrespect violated a minor especially trying to meet up with a minor which is against the law and just not say anything to anyone or there's no kind of criminal charge against that i just uh, me personally, I choose to, you know, stick with the ideology of innocent until proven guilty simply because it's too far-fetched to believe that Twitch wouldn't take any action, especially when the law was broken on their platform through one of their very popular creators. And if you go look on Twitter, there is just tons of examples of people already, yep, he is guilty, send him, shipped, and Bob's your uncle, which I feel like happens way too much on the internet. Now, yes, I'm all for the predator hunters. I'm all for, you know, the EDP cupcake situation. I'm all for those people getting what they deserve they deserve the absolute worst. However, it seems like in cases like these, similar to this, people are just so quick to be like, yep, he did it, seal the package, send him to jail, that's it. So as I said, Dr. Disrespect did reply to this all in a tweet saying, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. Now, what is cringe about this response is there's effectively no denying the accusation. I don't know anyone on planet Earth that would be hit with an allegation such as pedophilia and decide to say, I didn't do anything wrong. It was found I didn't do anything illegal. I don't know anyone who wouldn't be like, I was not texting a minor. You can go to any forum, you can go to any Twitch staff and they will tell you that they have no proof of me texting a minor. I would do whatever I could because that's a pretty heinous thing to do on the internet in 2024. It's infamous. Everybody's aware of it. It's like one of the cardinal sins of the internet and frankly, it's just one of the worst things you can do because that's a child, right? So if I was Dr. Disrespect, I would prove my case in any way possible. But here he's just kind of like, nah, I didn't do anything wrong, fam. Nothing illegal, but he never denied doing it, right? And surprisingly, I never thought I would say this, but I agree with Keemstar here. Dr. Disrespect's story is absolutely infuriating, all right? Uh, an ex-Twitch employee comes out and says that Dr. Disrespect was whispering to a minor and making plans to meet up with that minor at TwitchCon. 
And that's why he was banned from Twitch. And then went on to say that he's a piece of shit and his friends are a piece of shit and all that. Dr. Disrespect responds by saying, hey, look, I was found to have done nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong, all right? He comes out with another statement. I did nothing wrong. Dr. Disrespect is not responding to the allegation. The allegation is that he whispered and tried to make plans to meet up with a minor at TwitchCon. That is the allegation from the ex-Twitch employee. He's not responding to that. When he's saying, I did nothing wrong, he's referring to the settlement. He did a settlement with Twitch after suing Twitch and Twitch countersued him, I believe, and they settled out of court agreeing with mutual statements that both parties did nothing wrong. That's a lawsuit. That doesn't represent what actually took place at all. Doc isn't responding to the actual allegation. All he's saying is, I did nothing wrong. So the only other thing we have from the situation, because everybody's staying pretty quiet, is this guy named Robert Bowling, who is a dev for Dr. Disrespect's game studio, who put out the vague tweet of, I'm now aware of the situation and dealing with it. And someone else is now asking him, well, are you taking any measures to actually deal with it? Because you know he's been banned for a while. Don't come out with why he was banned or anything. And he's saying, that's where you're wrong. He very clearly said he didn't know why he was banned. So when I asked him, why are you banned? And he says, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And Twitch isn't saying why either then I wait for actual information and facts. So the reason I included this is this is just like an insider to Dr. Disrespect. Obviously, Dr. Disrespect could be lying. Obviously, the former Twitch employee could be lying. But this is just a little information from the other side of the argument. This last one I'm going to put on screen here is him basically just saying that he wants to figure it all out before a bunch of people lose their jobs because of their, you know, head founder is going through controversy. And obviously, that's, that's kind of a really good perspective we don't see on the internet a lot is like, hey, let's get this figured out first before X amount of people lose their income and their money for their families because of a salacious rumor that's circulating. Now, in late, the evergreen man of cringe himself, Nick Merckx, decides to give his little um, a tidbit about Doc as they're pretty close friends. Checking in. Uh, look, I open Twitter. <sighs> Bunch of my mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they, fucking, I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. Uh... And I seen I seen the the couple tweets about the doc. I, I'm I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations, crazy, big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave the little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. Now, the, the, the thing I want to point here, and I don't want to make too many, you know, eh, different opinions rival in the comments or anything like that, but, you know, he obviously had no reason to include the, the transgender or pronoun debate at the start of his little clip here. And even that, he kind of compounds it with saying, I want to wait for facts and evidence, but if you go look at his Twitter and stuff like that, he doesn't know any facts about transgender people. He doesn't know any facts about drag queens or any of that. He's just rushing to conclusions. So in one tweet, in one clip, he posted a Twitter. He is incredibly contradictory to himself. And I don't know. I just think no matter what side of the debate you're on, that's pretty, that's pretty comedy right there. As of right now, though, it seems like Nick Merckx is the only one that's came out. It doesn't seem like any of his other friends have said anything about the situation. They've just kind of been posting about Elden Ring, which what's your guys' opinion? Do you think everyone's playing Elden Ring because of Kai or do you think it's just a really good game and that's why everyone's playing it again? I don't know. Let me know that in the comments. Also, let me know about what you think about this Dr. Disrespect thing. Is this not enough evidence to jump on someone yet? Is this, you know, is he obviously not the it which makes him guilty by association let me know but that is going to be it for today and i will see you guys next time